nous voulons tous laisser nos traces dans le monde. Nous ne savons tout simplement pas comment y arriver. So, if we really want to make a change, we should be starting in our own homes. We live in an era known as the computer age, or the digital age. Technology is so advanced now that we can send someone to the moon, give someone new limbs, and treat illnesses so much easier than before. Technology has advanced so much, and it's being used for good. So should we not be embracing this with the youth of today? We should be teaching them the endless possibilities they have to make a change in the world. Because we can contact people from across the world so easily, we can help children in need from our own homes. We've even made everyday things easier for ourselves. We can bank, shop, and read the news from our own cell phones. Power, hydro, and danger warnings are sent to us via Twitter and via email, so we can see them before they can even affect us. So when school is canceled, the first place of confirmation is on Facebook, and every single company has their website, so we can find them so much easier. Technology is a gift, and there, was, there is so much that we can do thanks to technology. We can even 3D print things now. 50 years ago, that would have sounded impossible, but these things are happening around us in our own communities. We just have to look. In my own school board, students have created a less we forget light to remember the sacrifices of soldiers. The plan is for this light to be placed in various places in Canada, so on November 11th, all of them will flash less we forget in Morse code. This entire light will be created using a 3D printer. That's outstanding, and none of it would have been possible without the technology of today. So should we not be embracing technology with the youth of today? We should be teaching them the endless possibilities they have to, to make a change. Social media is the perfect place to start. However, most people are abusing technology, but it isn't their fault, because my generation was not taught how to use technology. Because we were raised as this technology was um, developing, so we learned how to use it, but a lot of people are not using it in a good way. For example, social media can be used for so much good, but in the way it's being used right now, it's been negatively impacting teenagers instead. So the depression rates in teenagers right now is super high, and social media is to blame. The reason behind that is because teenagers are too hugely impacted by artificial things surrounding them, like ce celebrities and television. Even though social media is a digital world in which we live in, we feel these things that happen online as if they were happening to us in real life. Because social media has made us laugh, and social media has helped us contact old friends. But social media has also made us cry, and I understand how social media can feel like hell sometimes. But do we really want to continue going down this negative road of technology when in reality we need to be focusing on humanity around us and how we can improve and aid it? We cannot stop the fact that the younger generation will be greatly affected due to technology. But what we can change is whether they will be good effects or negative effects. We should be embracing technology with the, with the generation of today so they can learn how to use technology in the right ways. Social media platforms can be used for so much good, and we can use them to spread awareness for what we are passionate for. If you are passionate for anything that's happening around the world right now, you can spread awareness on it, whether it be marine life dying due to plastic waste or global warming. Anything that you are passionate for can be spread. Technology can be used to improve hum humanity. Of course, the negatives will still remain, but with the help of technology, they, will, they can lessen. Si nous voulons provoquer un changement dans le monde, we should start in our own homes. Merci.